Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on my killer clowns that I just got from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. They are Trick or Treat Studios versions of the clowns. Uh, we'll touch base on that in a second here. Uh, but I want to talk about my lunchbox, okay? <laughs> I've seen this on Big Bad Toy Store. And there's a few other ones on there. You might want to look them up if you're into this kind of stuff. Uh, but these are very cool. They're smaller than your standard lunchbox that we used to get back in the day. But at the same time, the most disappointing thing about it is the fact that it does not come with a thermos. Okay, it's just the box itself, but it's very cool looking. Just looking at it, okay? It's very cool to have something nostalgic like this, but it's based on the Killer Clowns. I do have a huge collection that is slowly building up because... I become a little obsessed with the movie as well as the actual um, merchandise that comes with the killer clowns okay um, I'm gonna look it up earlier I mean later on today I'm gonna be looking at uh, see if I can purchase some more killer clown stuff I want to get a t-shirt I know Amazon's got some pretty cool looking ones there so I'm definitely gonna check into that I did pre-order three t-shirts those when they come in they come in but anyway Let's go ahead and take a look at this lunchbox, and then we're going to get into the actual figures from Trick or Treat Studios. Now, I will show you those boxes, too, because I just pulled them out of their boxes, and I'll show you the box art and everything. We'll get into that in a second, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and shut this down. All right, and now, pull this back. Let's get a close look at the lunchbox itself, okay? Well, hang on for a second here. I'll be right back, okay, guys? Okay, we're back. So now, what I want to do is just, you know, kind of check out the, the actual lunchbox. It is made of the traditional aluminum or tin or whatever they make it out of. So let's just go and get a look at the uh, actual art on the thing. Now this here, I'm not sure if that's Slim or... I'm not sure who that is. Let me see. No, I don't think it's Slim. It's something else. It's probably uh, Clownzilla, but I could be wrong about that. Now that's the side of the box. Okay. Yeah. There's a bunch of those killer clowns. That's the front of it. This is very cool looking. The box art is freaking amazing on this thing. I mean the uh, tin art. And there you go. There's Clownzilla. Right, let's look at the top of this. <clears throat> Comes with a handle. All right. All right. Hang on for a second here, guys. There you go, just so you can see underneath it if you can. All right. That's very cool. All right, let's look at the other side here. These, um, they're called um, popcorn clowns. I think they're freaking cool. I would love to get a hold of a, like a full-size one. Or anything relevant to the actual uh, popcorn class because I think they're cool I do got a small one from uh, the Tootie Terrors from NECA and those are really cool looking and that's what that looks like here so let's get into the actual container itself open it up open up the lunchbox now as you can clearly see it does not come with a thermos it's kind of disappointing though you know what I'm saying but it's to be expected I mean at least they're selling the damn things so I'm not really complaining about it, okay? But that's what this looks like. It's a it's a very cool looking showpiece. So I will tell you that, okay? All right, all right. Enough about the lunchbox. We're gonna move on to the actual figures, okay? Now what we do is I'm gonna look at the box art here of each one of these characters, okay? This is what the um, the back of the box looks like, all right? <clears throat> It is Trick or Treat Studios, and they're called Scream Greats, okay? They are made of a plastic, which I'll show you here in a second. But it's got some very cool artwork. This is from Slim, as you can see the name right there. All right. And it's a clamshell, and it comes with another clamshell within that that holds the actual figure in. And all you got to do is just pop the clamshell out, and they come out easy enough. Now, two of these figures do come with the can uh, cotton candy gun, which I think is very cool. Okay. Now, if they're going to push out some more um, clowns, most likely not. Maybe Clownzilla would be the most likely uh, one that they would push out. 
So with that, um, that would be the, uh, the likely thing for them to put uh, NECA or anybody else to push out when it comes to the killer clowns. Because there are a bunch of different other clowns within that movie. But these three here, Slim, Fatso, and uh, Shorty, they are the most popular ones of the bunch. Okay, So let's look at Slim real quick here. All right, let me move that in a little bit so you can see. Now the head does move, see, it moves from side to side. There's not too much articulation on these. The arms do move, okay. The hands have a certain amount of articulation. Now these, these are, in fact, as you can see the little shine, they are made of plastic, so keep that in mind, okay. They're not like uh, the NECA figures, which is made like a rubber, like a resin type uh, situation. Now these come with cotton candy guns too, so. And the thing about this is, is their feet are big enough you can stand them. You don't need a neck of stand or anything like that. <coughs> but here's a cotton candy gun. I think that's cool looking. I got a full size one. Uh, I got videos here on this channel. That'll show you the cotton candy gun. There's a couple of videos that I use that gun. Uh, you, you might want to check those out if you want to, if you're into the cotton candy gun. Now there is a bigger gun, it's called a popcorn gun I think it is. Now, that's a little over $100, that's a little pricey for me right now. But I would love to get a hold of that thing. That's the cotton candy gun that comes with it. Okay. I see his hand is very unique. He says, here, let me hold that. I'm like, okay, here you go. He's like, do 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 No, it's okay, don't blow that. Alright, now... Other parts of this, now as you can see, the legs don't move, okay? Just so you know. The feet don't move. These are all stationary from the head down. The arms have articulation. As you can see, they do move a little bit, but not by much, okay? And the head for obvious reasons, okay? So let me pull that back a little bit. And that's what she looks like. The feet, let's get a close-up look at the feet. Yeah, this is different when it comes to Trick or Treat Studios. These are literally molded, so they must have molds for these things. Which I think is cool, but like I said, it don't have much articulation to it. But they are cool. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Fatso is the biggest one of the bunch, in my opinion. Alright. Let's play it a little bit. Alright, I do have uh, the Toonie Terra's version of, uh, of these guys, and Fatso comes with a pie, okay, and I had to actually glue the actual pie to the end because it kept slipping off, which is okay because it's just for show and tell more or less, just, hey, take a look at this, and not there to play with them or anything. The articulation in this, as you can see, does swing back and forth, the hands do move, as you can see, okay. The head moves ever so slightly, but it's very tight, so you don't want to force it, otherwise you'll pop it right out. Now the actual uh, can cotton candy gun is the exact same one as this one here, except the colors are a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to pull them out, and we're going to go ahead and look at the cotton candy guns here. Yeah, you got different color schemes for these guys. Alright, now, and now. No, they're the exact same thing. Okay, my bad. Okay, they're the same ones. Okay, I just thought they were different. I was wrong. Okay. Put him back up there. Put you back in here. There we go. <clears throat> Outside of that, the articulation, like I said, the feet and the legs and the body are completely solid. As you can see, it's made of a plastic, okay? But these are cool looking. They did a really nice job. They're nicely detailed, too. Alright. There's the feet. So they got big enough feet where you can just stand them. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, the cotton candy gun is swinging around. Alright.
Now eventually, like I said, I'm going to get all my collection of the Killer Clowns together and I'll do one more video based on it as I slowly build these up, okay? But anyway, this is Fatso, okay? We'll put him up there. And then let's look at Shorty. Hi! Now he's the big, great boxing clown. Takes that guy's head right off, clean off. He's like, pop! <laughs> he's like, let's fight. I'm like, okay. This one's cool. Now this one here, believe it or not, is different from the rest of them. I'm not sure what this one's made of. As you can see, it's made of a different material. It isn't like those two. Those two are hollow. This is actually solid. For some reason, they they did Shorty a little bit different. But he is different. But as you can see, he's solid. And he's a lot heavier than those guys. So that's a little bit different. I'll have to look up the uh, information on that. Anyway, articulation-wise, the hands do move side to side. As well as... You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, there's no other articulation. Okay. Turn it around. I think that's cool. Look at his hair. Now, they do have a full-size animatronic based on Shorty. And I think that runs like $250 for it. Yeah, they got all kinds of killer clown stuff out there. And what I want them to do, because they've been talking about it, is actually pushing out a different movie. Or a new movie, or reboot, whatever they're going to do. But they are in the works, I believe. They're talking about it. It's not greenlit. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. I'd like to see another Killer Clowns movie. Because that first one was amazing, in my opinion. All right. It was cool the way they did it. It's a very cool concept. All right. Anyway, that is my collection based on the Killer Clowns so far. Along with my lunchbox. Okay, I'm going to end this here, guys. I hope you like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I will be pushing out some more videos. Now, I do have a set of Toonie Terrors coming in, a set of four, and I believe it's um, Captain... I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, he's from The Fog. Um, he's part of the action figure set, and... There are two other ones, but my mind, it escapes me what they are, but they should be coming in tomorrow. I'll be definitely doing a video on that if it comes in on time. Uh, but the most, the main reason I got that set of four was because of the uh, actual uh, Tar Man from The Return of the Living Dead. They did a Toonie, uh, ter ter Toonie? Toonie Terrors version of the Tar Man, and I think he's one of the coolest concepts about the movie itself. That movie came out in 1985. So I'm looking forward to that coming in. I'm going to check those out. And we'll do a video on that too. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the... Whoops. My bad. <laughs> I will see you guys at the next video. The damn handle's sticking out so far. You keep hitting it. I'm sorry about that, guys. All right. Have yourselves a good day. Okay, I'm back. And the reason why I'm back is because I actually forgot to show you the other uh, containers. They come with the uh, Killer Clown, so I'm going to show you the actual artwork on it. And then, then we'll shut this down, okay? So I didn't wanna, it's pretty much the same except the artwork is pretty cool right there. Alright. And it's got the little slides here. Alright. you got to turn it sideways because it's big. Alright, enough about that guy. Now let's move on to the next one here. Now this one here... It's based on Fatso. I'll move that in so you can see the actual pictures. And there is Fatso. It's very cool. The bottom of the actual boxes are pretty much the same, okay? But they are clamshell, so. Anyway, enough about that. I'll see you guys at the next video. Alright.